of bondage to the power of the word of God. Join Pastor Jackson and friends as we rightly divide the word of truth. You can find my gospel soul on Facebook, Twitter, but you can also find me, Denise Jackson, on Facebook and Twitter as well. Now, to keep up with us, also on the Denise Jackson Ministries website, that's at www.denisejacksonministries.yolasite.com. And remember, with God, all things are possible. If you really want peace in your life, the best way is stay away from the strife. Let's talk, listen, listen, pray.
Every day I be lifting this name. Wake up the next day and I'm doing the same. 24-7, 365 for the rest of my life. Why you standing and looking at me like I done lost my mind? Cause I carry a radical praise on me, hard to find. Spreading it hood from hood to all mankind. One hour on a shot clock cause we're running out of time. Teresa Blind, health and loss. Lead souls back to Christ at any cost. I need Jesus like I need dental flaws. I'm permanently The next day and I'm doing the same, same. 24-7-365 for the rest of my life Uncompromised, unashamed Shame. Oh God, God, Jehovah's the game Head bowed with my hands raised And if you feel the same way Then tell me what you're waiting for Wake up in the morning, stretching and yawning, glad for another day dawning. Can't wait to get to church, get yeah, I worship during the week, but I love it on a Sunday morning. Let everything that had breath, gon' get it up off the chest. And praise God till it ain't nothing left, so turn the trouble up in that cliff. Pull up at the church, jump about the ride, I can hear the band from outside. I look down, make sure my shoes tie, cause I'm about to run three laps inside. And some said don't take all of that covenant, boy, please behave. Well, you shop for what he started at the cross, and I shop for what he finished at the grave. And I ain't trying to make no scene, and in your ear, I don't mean to ring a ling. But if Jesus was Baskin Robbins, I showed on mine screaming for ice cream. I ain't trying to make no scene, and in your ear, I don't mean to ring a ling. But if Jesus was Baskin Robbins, I showed on mine screaming for ice cream. Covenant. Every day I be lifting his name. Wake up the next day, and I'm doing the same. 24 7 365 for the rest of my life. Uncompromised, unashamed. Oh, God, God, Jehovah's the game. Head bowed with my hands raised. And if you feel the same way, then tell me what you're waiting for. Cause he under my feet I'm rubbing G-O-D Cause it's legendary Stay in this word Stay prayed up Gotta be sober these days Cause it's very scary I praise God Through my good and bad times Time is winding up No time to lay Keep my focus on Christ He's coming back No lie Jesus Christ The way, the truth Best believe he's alive Lift your hands Give him praise Praising him all my days Can't sit down Gotta stand up Open my mouth Give him praise Man I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continuously be in my mouth. My soul makes boast in the Lord. Let the humble here be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. What you waiting for? Just Yeah. Dominion and power ain't 
Come on. He paid the price. price. Oh, yes, he paid it. Jesus the Christ. Christ. Lord and the Savior said, let there be light. Yeah. He spoke it, then made it. He wrapped himself in it, then walked on the pavement. I'm saved by his grace. grace. Thank God I made it. Into the gate. gate. The kingdom of heaven. I do what it takes. Yeah. I fall down. I reverence. I fall on my face just to be in this the presence. Be in this Before world. I was saved. I was in darkness. Covered in chains. I thought for the line game. Blessing for change. Rich was in the option. With to the game. My lifestyle, not a party at night But nowadays we make the church a loud night of our life But it's gonna burn if it's not abiding in Christ Being filled with the spirit makes it easy to fight These demons that's creeping in the heat of the night The sea being dear lit as the angel of light So I'm hoping that you're praying at night And no more gambling in my paradise Like when I was whipping the day One touch from his blood, no more living in strife Holy Spirit like a freight train delivered my life I had a heart that was cold as ice uh, I'm from the city that was bred to fight One wrong move, you could lose your head tonight But Christ came overnight, then he stole my life Now I'm convinced there's no one like my God 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 He's the ruler He's the king of the heavenly. He's Elohim. You ain't gotta check his pedigree. I've been redeemed since the Holy Spirit fell on me. I've been clean from my sins and my felonies. I was a fool. I brought shame to my legacy. I'm ruined and rebellious. I changed from my destiny. I brought my parents pain. That's a stain that would never leave in the fast lane. Like my name was Bill Bellamy. Well, that's a sin that I repented. But Jesus came to my life. Now I'm living. I'm living. I'm grateful. He's right. He turned on the light switch. The light to my past and my vision. My vision. His mercy and grace is sufficient. His court in his gates with thanksgiving. Amen. Everything will be added. Just turn to the master and see first that kingdom of heaven. There's no one like my God. 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 Yeah. In the name of Jesus, there's power. The kingdom and power Within my weakness he is power He is mighty my strong tower See life is short But death is short Sin is the cause but Christ is the cure I push for a purpose push for a cure Know what your work is wait on the Lord In the name of Jesus there's power Dying is the kingdom and power Within my weakness he is power He is mighty my strong tower In the name of Jesus there's power God bless the meek I'm styling, I'm styling and profiling my shirt by Rita Nelson. You see in the live, you need a shirt, you need a design. She put this logo together, all right? She put this logo, to, she put this shirt together. And guess what? I'm wearing it on my show because it represents what I do. I connect people to one another, all right? Listen, a um, couple of things I want to talk about a little later on in the show. I'm going to be talking about... Uh, uh, this young lady that was gunned down in her home, okay? Uh, they The, the uh, police came in looking for somebody and, and shot her dead. They said they found 10, at least 9 to 10 bullets in her body. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then this young man was, uh, was uh, shot while jogging, okay? We need to come together. We need to uh, become a voice in our own community for our own people 
We always looking for uh, whose fault it is when somebody kills one of our own. Listen, let me tell you something. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. Amen. They killed this young man. They killed this young lady. And justice needs to be served. Our God, amen, is not sleep. He sits high and he looks low. You're listening to My Gospel Soul Radio. We're going to keep the music going. Let me just spin it. Let's see who we got. All right. I want to play a little bit. This is a uh, throwback of uh, Havoc. It was an artist I met when I first started radio. His name is Havoc. I, I haven't seen him lately, but I just want to do a throwback since it is Thursday. So here's the throwback song for Thursday. It's by Havoc called Persecution right here on My Gospel Soul. My gospel soul. Listen, this is what we do, y'all. This is what we do. Uh, different artists that we know, we make sure that we share their music. Now, let's see who else we got on the switchboard today. Uh, we're going to, like I said earlier, we're going to be talking about, you can go ahead and drop comments uh, on your view of, um, of what is happening with uh, our, black pe- our black men and women being killed. Come on. Uh, what do y'all think about it? Talk to me. I want to share your. Uh, I want to share your comment. What is your view on those two? Uh, those two white men shooting that that young man in cold blood, and he was just jogging. Okay. What is your view on uh, on them rushing in that house, the cops, and shooting down that young girl, and she had nothing to do with what they, uh, you know, what they were looking for. 
So let's talk. If you can't sleep in your own bed without worrying about being killed, come on, you got to have something to say about it. Why you figure that out? Why you <laughs> why you figure that out? And please put your comment. Uh, I want to play a little bit of, uh, let's see, let's see. Jay speaks. See heaven right here on oh my God. Oh, right here. Yeah. 
phone. Falling in love with Jesus, the best thing I ever done. Now I get paid for my service, not what I was looking for. I'm just doing it from my heart. The money, I'm getting more, more joy, more peace. I'm just trying to shed some light on how good to get near. When you get closer to Christ, and you can help somebody life and watch them put it in action. Then they help somebody else yeah, to start a chain reaction. Man, the thought alone makes you want to do more. Realize my purpose on this earth, so I hopped on my J-O-B. 365, 24-7, your service to others is reservations for your room in heaven. Now, follow me, no actually, by the God instead. The God is head of my life, and he is who led me to be this man I try to be daily. Blessings I'm getting lately, thanks to his baby. Jesus, please believe us, unbelieve us, believe us. When we say that he would never leave us, so just try and for once. And I'm sure that you would never turn back. How you know, because I tried him, and this is fact that this is the life. And I won't trade it with nobody, with nobody, I found Christ. And I'm not trading for nobody, for nobody, this is the lie. And I won't trade it with nobody, with nobody, I found Christ. And I'm not trading for nobody, for nobody. See, I used to do a lot of things I would be ashamed to admit, but I speak it to help you get through. Now hear the words that I say, the key words is used to I haven't changed everything, but a lot of things I don't do I can't do, too deeply rooted in this audio See, I learned from the streets the importance of being loyal Can't expect to get the blessings if you can't trust you To keep the faith and put him first in whatever you do I used to smoke weed, pop it, so dope, so yes Put a gun to a loose neck, make threats, I regret Disrespect a lot of women, plenty of premarital sex Yes, the devil had me gone, but then change came next That old saying Help me switch it up, the one we neglect That we didn't made another day, but we ain't promised the next With a prostitution, cracker, whatever, don't never hold back He bought you through so you can tell the whole world that This is the life And I won't trade it with nobody With nobody, I found Christ And I'm not trading for nobody For nobody, this is the life And I won't trade it with nobody With nobody Life when you have a job that pay less than the job before, but dealing with God is job to pay less. You tend to have more what life to live when you in the word. Play the rules how I go. And it's become your footstool and friends turn out of foe. This is the life of straight as the gate. And now we just the road and we did the shed and tears turn into rainbows. The life of ups turn from downs and gain earn from falls. And yes, turn from now the frowns turn into smiles. This is the life of grace given. And the reason we celebrate Christmas, Christmas Eve, Easter Sunday, and Thanksgiving, the life where miracles happen. And the reason I'm rapping, the reason behind the hallelujahs and the Holy Ghost catching the life in situations you're facing, you know you make it through that life that you pursue, that Akuna Matata attitude, that life that Paul said to live is when you die, it's a game, and you can do all things through Christ, man. This is the life, and I won't trade it with nobody, with nobody, I found Christ. And I'm not trading for nobody, for nobody, this is the life. And I won't trade it with nobody, with nobody, I found Christ. And I'm not trading for nobody, for nobody.
Now many, many, many times before, Lord, you have forgiven me, yeah, even when I You're listening to My Gospel Soul Radio. Amen. He's been better to us than we've been to ourselves. He's been better to us than anybody in this whole world. Who do you know to lay down their life, amen, that you may have a right to live? Come on. Who do you know? Who do you know? Tell me. Give me their name. (laughs) His name is Jesus. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want to share something with you. Praise God. Amen. A scripture that says we are the we are the place of prayer. We are. We are the place of prayer. In 1 Corinthians 3 and 9, it says, For we are fellow workmen, joint promoters, laborers together. That's what they mean. that means. We are fellow, amen, workmen, and with, it says with and for God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We work, amen, with God. He works through us, praise God. We are in fellowship with him, praise God. We are the place of prayer. Now watch this. It says, you are God's garden and vineyard and fields under cultivation, amen? In other words, God is constantly working on you, amen? He's constantly working on you. He's constantly working on me. He's constantly working on your brother and sister, praise God. And you have to remember that. It says, praise God, amen. It says, you are, you are God's building. 
You are God's building. Amen. Hallelujah. You are where he dwells at. Glory to God. Amen. We all know that he can't dwell in an unclean temple. Come on. Amen. But amen. When you are living right, you love Jesus Christ. Amen. He dwells within you. Glory to God. Amen. He wants to bless your life. He wants to bless everything that you do. He wants, amen, to use you to bless somebody else. Come on, amen. Hallelujah. And it goes on to say in 1 Corinthians 3 and 16, amen. It says, y'all see what book I'm reading? This is George Meyer book. <laughs> Hallelujah. It says, do you not discern and understand that you, amen, that's the whole church, glory to God, are God's temple. You are God's temple, glory to God, and that God's spirit has permanent dwelling in you, permanent, amen, he has made a home in you, glory to God, hallelujah, he has went in there, put a chair in there and sat down, glory to God, got a refrigerator in there, I'm just trying to make you laugh a little bit, but he dwells on the inside of you, different things that you are praying for, different things you are seeking God for, you already have because he's in you. He's peace, so when you need peace, all you got to do is look within. It's there. You need joy. You need love. You need uh, uh, faith. Everything is within you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It says this is permanent. You're, we are his permanent dwelling place. Amen. To be at home in you collectively as a church and as an individual. Ain't that awesome? powerful praise God you got to know amen and walk in confidence about who God is and what place amen he has in your life praise God amen hallelujah I want you to understand amen that God amen loves you praise God and he wants you to have the best this next song is by Melba Moore. Come on. I had a wonderful interview, wonderful talk with her at the beginning of the year, praise God. And this is the song she left me to share with my listening audience. This is Melba Moore. Amen. Call me right here on My Gospel Soul Radio. <laughs> And you need a friend. You need oh, yeah. a friend. When you need someone, someone in which you can depend. You can depend. Like a breeze over troubled water.
Radio. Uh, you're listening to My Gospel Soul Radio. And as I promised, I said I was going to talk about uh, Brianna Taylor today. Amen. Uh, one thing that I find that we do, we forget about these lives that are lost um, or taken. Let me not say lost. Let me say taken. Because, um, you know, as time goes on, we forget the names of people. Amen. And I was I was up and I well I was headed to the office and I was listening to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. And Ricky Smiley was was uh uh in a he was an emotional wreck behind this story and I hadn't heard it yet. And it says, uh let's see, I'm gonna pull up the story and I wanna read a little bit of it to you. Uh they have a, it says, Justice for Breonna Taylor. The petition surpasses 100,000 signatures after family of woman shot and killed by police files a lawsuit. Now, Taylor, who was asleep when the Taylor that was asleep, I heard some, when the uh, Louisville police uh department entered her home just after midnight on March the 13th, okay, was shot eight times by police officers and killed. The officers were were uh, executing a search warrant for another individual in a narcotics investigation. The 26-year-old had been working as an EMT at the time. She loved the family and community. She worked at two hospitals as an essential as, as an essential worker during the pandemic. The uh, ch- the change.org petition reads: Taylor's boyfriend Kenneth Walker was also in the apartment when LMPD forced entry into their home. The uh, LMPD. Hold on. I don't I don't like to speak in commercial language. LMPD forced entry into their home. The the uh LMPD said in a statement that officers were met with gunfire to which they fired back. Neither Taylor uh neither Taylor and Walker had a criminal history and no drugs were found in their apartment. No charges have been made in the connection to their death. Ain't this something? No, no, uh, no nothing. So I call Brianna Taylor's name out. I call it out in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, on this petition, on, on this whole situation, on this whole sordid situation. Listen, we got to start standing up and being more vocal about what's going on in this world when it comes to the black community. We always sit back and we just let the, oh, we hear about it, we talk about it for a few days, and then we're on to the next thing. Listen, we don't have time for that. We're losing our youth by the droves. Do you hear what I'm saying? Young men and young women that's making a difference. She was working, take care of, she was essential, an essential worker helping take care of those that were dealing with the coronavirus. You mean to tell me we can't get justice for this young lady? This is uh, uh, this is Queenie on uh, My Gospel Soul Radio, and I'm asking everybody that can get involved some type of way so it'll be justice for this young life lost. So it'll be justice for this young life lost. All right? Now, I want to play something. Uh, by Q Stone, and it says, Come together right now on My Gospel Soul Radio. Put your hands together, come on, and let's come together. Put your hands together, uh. put your hands together, that's right, and let's come together. Yeah, put your hands together, and let's come together. Uh. Put your hands together, yeah, uh. and let's come together. I really wish the world was better. I wish we could find that peace that'll last forever and make heaven on earth together. We don't gotta wait till the Lord come back to get us, cause the power is already in us. God is in us. He said that in the beginning, when he made us in his image, so we can master this world and everything that's in it. But we hit 
self destruction. Ain't no trust, cause the government is full of corruption. But I know who to trust in. He left this book with words that's full of instruction. Shows us how to forgive and start to live. Quit taking everything and give. This world ain't all about you, it's all about us. Get with it, man, and that's for real. Hey.
we don't uh it doesn't it doesn't pierce our heart or it, it 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 doesn't become important to us like it needs to be. But I'm here to tell you today it's important. It's important. Brianna Taylor is my daughter. Brianna Taylor is your daughter. It's your sister. It's your mom. It's your it's your come on. Your niece. It's your come on, your goddaughter. Uh Brianna Taylor is gone. We need to start speaking up. We go to bed for so many things. Can we please go to bed for our youth? All I'm saying, can we go to bed for our, for our black young people? Can we go to, go to bed for, for black people, period? <laughs> can we go to bed for black people, period? That's all I got to say because I'm black. I, I Listen, people say, well, everything, she, all she talking about is black. Listen, I am black. I lived in a little city where they were still lynching people when I was a kid, hanging them uh, from the uh, from the uh, from the light poles. Yes, they were. Come on, still calling people niggers and all kinds of stuff. Little 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 white girl called me a nigger when I was in in uh, uh, wasn't even in junior high yet, and she was running around uh, nigger this nigger that you nigger. I'm telling you what we're dealing with today, and I'm being real about it because we don't wanna we don't wanna be real about this. Let's be real. Let's understand what's really going on. And right now, what's really going on is murder, cover up, people getting away with it because because of the color of their skin. They taking us out. Some people say, "Well, we ain't in slavery no more." Okay. All right, but you do know that they're still hanging us. You do know they tying people, but tying them. Uh, they tied the 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 uh, the man in jail, so they tied that rope around his neck, hooked him to a back of a truck, and drug him till his head came out. Y'all do understand that. You do understand Emmett Till. You do understand. Y'all think that was a long time ago? That wasn't that long ago. I'm just trying to tell you, we need to get active. We need to get involved. One life is too many lives, and we need to get out of that place where it don't affect me, so I ain't bothered by it. Time to step out of it, and time to get serious. Time to get involved, all right? I'm just saying, I'm just going to make sure it's said on my Gospel Soul Radio. I've had a wonderful time with y'all today. I want y'all to remember that without, uh, uh, without faith, it's impossible to please God, but with God, all things are possible. Who cares? God cares. Thank you for tuning in to My Gospel Soul Radio. We love you. We love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm trying to get my intro loaded, y'all, but I see so much good music, I'm not, but uh, uh, I'm not going to keep on going. I'm going to just go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and log off. I had a good, good time today, and I, it, I thought my... Uh, my spiritual son was going to be on here with me today, but I, I guess he got caught up. He works from home. So we love you, LB. Shout out. Keep it real. Love you. Tell Mary B. I said hello and all that good stuff. Oh, wait a minute. He just two minutes left. What's going on, LB? What's going on? How you going to come on the show? How you just gonna come on the show two minutes left in the in the in the show? How you just gonna what what's up with that? You know, I was you know, I was working from home. You know what I'm saying? My boss wanted to have a virtual meeting with me and everything. They were treating this thing like it's for real. Like you really in the office or something. I've been trying to you know, and I wanna tell them like, hey, you know, I'll be sleeping until the call comes through. You know what I'm saying? I almost <laughs> wanna tell them that. So I'll be acting like I'll be up the whole time paying attention. <laughs> now Okay, we gon' we going I hope they ain't listening. Listen. I hope they're not listening too. I, if they are listening though, I, my name is Bernard Bertrand. <laughs> okay, Bernard. L B. L B Yes, yes. Yes. So I end, I'm ending the show with the topic of Brianna Taylor. You wanna weigh in on it? Because I promise you, I I'm telling people to get involved. Find the petition, sign the petition, get involved. They came into this this young lady's house. Uh, she was asleep, 
and and uh-huh. just because they were called to execute a, a a search warrant or something, and 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 they put on the report it says eight bullets in her. On another report I read it says she had nine to ten bullets in her body in the autopsy. My Talk God. To me right. Talk to me right now. I mean, this is another situation where we have to show that black lives does matter because clearly they seem to forget that. So, um, I mean, honestly, you know what I'm saying? We have our police officers who have now took it upon themselves to kill us at will, literally at At will. will. I get nervous every time I get pulled over because you never know how – how the police are acting at that moment, you know, what's what what they're gonna do, right? You get one uh, thing, like I remember I remember I got pulled over one time, um, out here and the police literally one came to one side of the car, the other came to the other side of my car. And my kids were in the back seat scared and I told them just be you know, be calm. And then they wanted to ask me all of these questions and everything. It was really crazy. And um but that's the thing, you know, you never know how to act. I'm going to say two things. I'm going to say, for one, if you are in an encounter with the police, be as respectful as possible. Do not talk that's back. Right. Do not um, give any reason. And get that badge number. You and can't fight. You can't fight. Yeah, get the badge number. And record, 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 record. Um, that, is your, that is your right in order to record. That's number one. But for also, I'm also going to say, too, that it's for, for all of us to step up as a community and to get involved in situations like this. We hear of, you know, one of our own being killed the way that they are. We have to do something. Um, I think Malcolm X said, if you're not a part of the solution, then you must be part of the problem. Part of the problem. So we got to stand up. We got to do something. And we definitely got to stand up for ourselves with Breonna Taylor. Because that's really sad. Well, you know they they have a petition going around because the uh, mm-hmm. the uh, parents has uh fi- hold on I'm a, uh, we were just there it was talking about the lawsuit that was filed and um, I need for everybody to search out that lawsuit for Brianna Taylor um, because let me tell you something no charges have been filed. None, mm-hmm. and when you, you you get what I'm saying, and I I honestly I don't understand this. They they claim that that the boys that you know they had firearms, but they didn't find any firearms, you know, and they still have not filed charge. They still have not charged anyone with this young lady's death, and I think praise God that that uh this is a travesty. And I believe that if we all get together and we all uh, make an effort to press this issue and don't let uh, don't let uh, any any ice form over this come on, we keep this thing we keep this thing on the forefront. I believe mm-hmm. I believe that we can uh, really really uh, make a difference in this and cause some uh, justice to be served. But right now, yeah. until we do that, until we all bind together and get serious about what just happened, because if we don't take this serious and we let this go by, uh, we're going to see more people, uh, more young people dying, young black mm-hmm. African American people losing their lives. We're going to see it. Mm-hmm. If we don't if we don't get get ourselves together. Right. That's true. That's true. And I'm looking now, and I see that she was an EMT. Yep. Oh, Hannah, man, that's worked that as, a, as an essential worker throughout the, pan, the pandemic. Exactly. Exactly. She's been on the front line throughout this whole pandemic. Front line. And now one of our front essential line. workers is now going on. My God! Over census acts by the by the police. First off, Louisville should be outraged. 
They should be outraged. Louisville should be outraged because, I mean, it's mostly us out there in Louisville. Um, you know what I'm saying? So they should be outraged at this. I know I'm I'm frustrated looking at this. This is crazy. But um, I see that the family hired the attorney from the um, – hold on. Give me one second. Let me go back to it. Okay. But yeah, we all need to get listen. Yeah, it's it's serious, y'all. It's serious. It is really serious, and if we don't do nothing, hey, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. But you know, I was telling them too. We just. We just found out about the young man that uh oh, that was Bobby. that was shot and that's down what I was in just about uh, to say. Yep. That's what I was just about to say. The family hired the attorney from the Ahmad Arbery case to help them. Wow. Yep. Boy. I was just about to say that. I'm, I'm just I'm just through today. I'm through. <laughs> I just if we could just come together, okay? Let's get together. Let's let's do what we can do from wherever you are. Find out what you can do. Find out what you can contribute. Find out how you can be a part of bringing justice for this life loss. It's time. It's time. Come on, stand up. Forget about come. It don't concern me. All that. It's not my. It wasn't my daughter. It wasn't. You know. Oh. And sometimes we hear it and we like, oh, oh my God, I can't believe. It. And the next thing you know, we don't remember anything. We are we because we on to the next situation. Let's not do that this time. Let's be get involved. Let's 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 get our children involved. Let let your children know. In order for you to have a future, we're gonna have to get this. We're gonna have to stop this now. And parents, your children are growing up into what kind of world? What kind of world? Are your children walking into? All I'm saying. What kind of world are your children walking into? If you don't, if you don't stand up right now, this is the world that your children are to, are going to grow up and walk into. Okay, when they leave your house, this is what they're going to walk into. It's kind of like also uh, Ricky Smiley said. His uh, his daughter drives for DoorDash and delivers food, and she's on a college campus, and his mind went so many places because he can't be there with his child. But in this day and time, you can't say that your child is protected. You, it, it make you not want to make you too paranoid to send them off to school or to let them get their own place. And, and it, it's just so much that we need to really, really, uh, really, really understand about this situation. About we this do. tragedy, we do. Okay, wake up call. Yes, wake I mean up it's call. just a wake up call. It's a wake up call for us to really um, pull together, and yeah. you know what I'm saying, and really show that we are standing together on this thing. And it's not about rioting. That's not going to do it. We can't riot, but we have to. Um, but we have to make a peaceful stand. In order yeah. for um, in order for our voices to really be heard, because if you riot, yeah. all they're gonna do is lock us up, and then there's gonna be more negroes, more negroes put away, or more shots. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We have to be able to be wise in what we're doing, and we have to learn. We have to be able to fight the system. That's but the right. way we have to fight the system is, and we we say it all the time, but it's so important. It goes back to voting, people. It goes yes, back to voting, voting. It's just in a presidential election, but it's right there in your hometown as well. The pe- the mayor yeah. is not listening to you. The the city officials are not listening to you because they don't get your vote. Oh wow! So because you don't put them in office, right? And because you can't control right. them getting out of office, then they really don't care about what it is you have to say, right? So they let right. things like this happen and go unpunished. Because at the end of the day, they can still get reelected anyway. Anyway, we have to. Anyway, we have to change that. We have to change that. We have to be involved in our voting process. 
We have to be involved. I mean, let's look. Let's pay attention in Chicago for a minute. When that thing wow. happened with um with that young man in Chicago, the city of Chicago united together. They got out on the streets and they demanded for Rahm Emanuel to retire. Yes. They demanded for him to retire. Now he didn't retire, but I can guarantee you he did not run again in that less in the next election. Hmm. Because he knew that the city was against him at this point because they stood up. The city stood up and they said, we're not going to take this. Get Rob Emanuel out of office. Get him out. Uh-huh. And mm-hmm. he did not run again in the next election. That's the type of power that we have. But we have to do that with using our voice to vote. People have died That's right. for us to have a right to vote. And it's, vote. Really, it's like a slap in their face when we don't exercise those rights that people have fought so hard, you know, to for us to have. Um, it's it's funny, my mother in law was growing up during the civil rights era and um she oftentimes talks about that. But you know, it's um it's sad to see. You know what I'm saying? Some of the things that our you know, our grandparents alone been through. And yep. that we don't appreciate it and we don't show it the respect that it deserves by just getting out here and exercising the right that we fought so hard for. Mm. My God. Well, we, we me and uh, LB, we're going to come up with something uh, to show tribute uh, and honor to uh, the lives that have been lost. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to make sure that we do our part because it's very important to do our part. Some people say, oh, I can't do much, but you do your little bit. Do what you can do. Do what you can do to bring some attention to what we're dealing with today. You know. The cheaper price one can pay is attention. Hmm. Pay attention. Pay attention. Mm-hmm. See what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, and report it. But look, and turn that phone on. See, they don't want to record nothing. Mm-hmm. Turn that phone on. Turn that, turn that camera on and use it for something good instead of, <laughs> I know y'all be on World Star and all kinds of stuff, but use that camera for good. <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. so that we can uh, really, really, uh, really, really show that we're not going to just let you kill kill our children. We're not going to let you just kill our future. Because when they kill the children, when they kill the young people, they're killing our future. And we need to understand that. And we need to understand that. You, we want to thank everybody for tuning in to My Gospel Soul Radio. I uh, want to take, uh, take the time to thank um, LB for calling in. I know that he is on a break. <laughs> he works at home, y'all, but and uh, I just want to let you know that I appreciate you. Uh, okay, y'all. Want you to remember that faith is impossible to please God, but with God, all yes, things are all things possible. possible. Who That's cares? Right. Who cares? God cares. God cares. <laughs> all right.